Thank you, Dr. Dave. Hey there. Um, great to see you. Um, I will keep my remarks within the time limits, hopefully. And I, I'm gonna throw it back a little bit um, and get into the kind of the headspace of being a debater way back in the day with Dr. Dave around, okay? Uh, and let me just give you three snapshots of what I remember for Dr. Dave organized, not too well because they're just scribbled on my notes, old school style on a yellow piece of paper. Come on people, you're being way too professional here making me look terrible. I'm doing this how Dr. Dave trained me, which is to just be in my head, do a lot of research, think about a ton of shit, but still be remarkably immature when it comes to actually pre preparing and working and getting your notes in order. So Dr. Dave, I have thought a lot about this. I think about you a lot from time to time. Let me just give you the three snapshots around these three ideas. Um, mind, body, and spirit. Uh, this is how I remember Dr. Dave, through these three things, mind, body, and spirit. One, in terms of Dr. Dave's mind, I don't know who the smartest person in the world is or the sharpest mind, but I do know that I think Dr. Dave would be excellent at making that call for some reason. Remarkable judge of all things. And I remember vividly when there was a crazy job candidate person who came to speak at the University of Iowa, everyone seemed totally nonplussed by this person who gave uh, an interpersonal communication reading of chef shows on television did not go over well. The room was not impressed. Dr. Dave asked one question and just destroyed this person. He didn't intend to destroy this person, but he asked one simple question. And he said, you know, this is very interesting what you're saying. I'm wondering how you think it fits in with our department. We would describe a lot of the work that we do here as critical. What do you say about your work that is critical? <laughs> and it was so honest, so genuine, so insightful, and so condemning all at the same time. It was beautiful, Dr. Dave. I mean, it was smart, it was elegant, but it was genuine. That kind of insight in mind, that honest rhetorical approach, I, I fucking miss that. That's great. All right, so kudos to you. Second, in terms of body, it's a weird category, but there's one small detail that just strikes me as such a moment when I think about Dr. Hinksman, which is I was fortunate to go on some random debate tournament, the 100th anniversary of the international parliamentary debate. Never mind you, I had no idea what parliamentary debate was. It was crazy, it was up in Bates, Maine. There was like Lou Nguyen's old ex-girlfriend and her friend Nacho looking for me and waking people up. I wasn't there yet and everyone was pissed at me before I arrived, it was weird, okay, but it was a good time. We got sleeping quarters that was just a room with two sleeping bags. There was nothing for Dr. Dave. He rolled up a sweater and slept on a futon. And that in my mind is indicative of what this person is willing to do for debaters and other human beings. Just like I remember crazy Bill Shanahan running around pretending he's Nietzsche with a water cooler and no shoes, saying things like, you know, I would give up a Grateful Dead concert on a Chinese New Year for these kids. But when I think of Dr. Dave and his life and what he's done for debate, I think of him already having done that. Um, and then lastly, in terms of spirit, Dr. Dave, you have to know that I'm sincere when I say that I think about you as I did like a couple weeks ago because I was running to class because for some crazy reason, I'm the idiot who signed up to still do some face-to-face -face classes and hybrid and some online. And I'm running around with a bag and then I don't have enough room to put all of these extra folders that I have. So I got this canvas bag and I'm stuffing like water bottles and like extra folders and I'm running to class and I'm saying to myself, Nico, what the fuck are you doing? Like, look at yourself, who are you? And I answer that question, honestly, Dr. Dave, and I say, I, I'm, I'm Dr. Hinksman. That's who I am <laughs> running around with all of these extra papers and folders and canvas bags because 
I care about my students that deeply. And I totally get that from you. And I am incredibly pleased every time I have that sensation of what am I doing? Oh, I'm kind of trying to be like Dr. Dave. It's a very fulfilling moment. So thank you so much.